Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready here to do your love reading. This will be for all Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Remember this is a Virgo channel. Um, so if you're new, welcome. Thank you for all of your support. We're almost at the 10,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Please do click like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this channel. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video where you can just click that link and you could even book same day for a one hour reading or 30 minutes, what have you. All right, Virgo, let's get into your, your saga. Okay, past position, nine of swords, knight of pentacles. Wow, three of pentacles, hmm. Present, six of wands, three of cups, and temperance and the future. I have the devil, oh, the moon, and the queen of cups. Okay, bottom of the deck. Wow, Virgo. Five of pentacles here. Someone is feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, uh, has a poverty mindset, not feeling like things are working out. This person, there's. A, this is like my struggle love card. So this relationship or connection you may be in or were in in the past, uh, the energy here is like a lot of struggles. The hanged man, new perspective. Um, stagnant energy, but the, the mind is free. free. I just heard that song, free your mind and the rest will follow. And then the six of pentacles here. Um, somebody, I feel, taking a look at the fact um, that they, they were probably breadcrumbing in this connection or in the relationship, not giving enough, not giving back. Um, and that energy, leaving them out in the cold, I feel like because the hangman is kind of saying, wait, I need to take a look at this. Maybe this was you or maybe your person. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are here. <clears throat> okay, Virgo, love messages. Okay, trust. Hmm. Situations calling for you to have faith. Okay, you deserve love. You are lovable. Wow, Virgo. An attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And they're saying get one more. Okay, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. All right, well, we are entering into holiday season. So there may be some type of a reunion coming here, okay, or spending time with family and friends. Um, let's take a look here. That's pretty much for the month of September here. But I feel like, you know, Virgo, for you, you don't have to go out and seek love. Just be love and you will attract it. So if you're looking for somebody new, you know, it's all about focusing on the things that you love. And when you're focusing on what you you love and you're doing your own thing and you're, and you're just really enjoying the moments in your life and happy, I feel like that is very attractive. And that's pretty much how you attract healthy love to you because you deserve it. You, somebody here thinks that you are quite lovable. Um, Quite lovable. Let's take a look at this past position, though. A lot of anxiety in the past. Sleepless nights, stress, mental stress. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune here. Whew. This feels like stress about change. Something was in your favor in the past in a connection with someone. Um, There's a lot of anxiety for someone about something changing a difficult time or somebody had a difficult time making changes moving something forward and that either the stress came first or the anxiety came first which i feel like a wrench in the wheel is how i feel but i also feel too or it was the fact that things needed to change in the past caused a, caused a lot of anxiety and stress sleepless nights there might have also been, um, for someone, you or your person, um, something was shifting. There was a shift. There was a change in this person that you were connected with in the past, um, really having a hard time or has a hard time with change. OK? 
okay? And some type of, um, this Knight of Pentacles tells me some type of an offer came in for commitment or marriage. I kind of feel like your person felt like they offered to you out of a sense of duty, you know, or, the, or it's like, I kind of feel like, Virgo, you wanted something with someone and they agreed to it, but it wasn't out of love or because they cared or wanted to, like, because they were in love or something like that. It feels more like it was because <clears throat> that was something that you wanted. And I feel like this person in some ways knew that if they didn't make this offer to you, that they might lose you. But it feels here like they were really anxious about doing this really anxious about making a change i don't feel like it's really what they wanted so they either made an offer or they just kept something going with you in the past even though it's almost like oh what happened <laughs> hold on you guys why did my lights go out <laughs> oh my goodness this is the first hold on <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, it's some kind of a sign. Oh goodness. I can't believe that this light just completely went out on its own. I feel like it was a sign somebody was in the dark. They really, it feels like this person did not want to, they said yes when they meant no. And they kept saying yes, but they really meant no because it couldn't say no to you. Okay, we have the Empress and the Knight of Swords. Whew. If this feels like your energy, listen, if those lights go out, I don't know, something's happening here, so there's spirit around. I feel like this was you, you really wanted something. You might've really been aggressive with something with someone in the past and really trying to push for some kind of relationship because you knew your worth. Okay, um, this, there might have been travel involved with this person. It was something that you wanted. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't do this reading in the dark. So maybe I ought to. Maybe I should just do the reading in the dark. This is the scariest thing. These lights keep going off. Okay, hold on. I got to find a way to get these lights back on. Hold on, you guys. There's, there's something in here with me. There's some kind of spirit in here with me. I, I, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing through. I, I, I don't understand what's happening. Okay, let's take a look at this Knight of Pentacles. All right. King of Wands. You might have been connecting with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person showing up with this boldness or this braveness or you know trying to show themselves to be something for you but they really I don't feel like they were capable of giving you what you wanted but they said yes to it anyway look seven of swords they were being deceitful Virgo sorry I feel like this person was be just being quite deceitful in the past I really hope this light doesn't go off again because something is in this room okay the present energy Six of Wands. Oh my goodness. You guys, what should I do? Should I keep doing this reading? <laughs> this is so frustrating. Okay, I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to do the reading here. So, Six of Wands. So, this person, look, Six of Wands and the Three of Wands. I feel like this person right now in this present energy they're waiting to hear from you did you end something with this person did you leave this person out in the cold or abandon this person did you get some new insight somehow and just kind of realize that they were they were just giving a little they weren't giving you everything you wanted did you walk away Okay, because this person is waiting to hear from you. They want to re reconcile and bring things back into balance here with you. 
but they have all of that nine of swords energy all of this this anxious anxiety yeah look this person was at a crossroads they couldn't make up their mind okay spirit stop playing with me stop playing with me stop playing with me this is the creepiest thing i've ever all right if it comes back on it comes back on you're just gonna have to listen because I have something around here with me. This person was at a crossroads in the past. They could absolutely not try to make things work with you. They, they just, it was like, it feels like it was a stalemate. That's how it feels. I'm putting on, I'm putting my, um, I'm going to put my light on because spirit can't control my light on my phone, my flashlight. <laughs> Okay, I know. Are you guys, if you're commenting in the chat right now, I'm going to be right here with you talking to you because this is insane. Okay, there's some, there's some type of spirit in here. This person wants reconciliation with you, justice. They want to try to make something right. They want to try to make this right for, with you. They want to try to do the real thing. I feel like you guys are going to be connecting or spending some time together or connecting with each other. Balance and balance. Libra and energy. We have Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, Aries. Oh, gosh. Capricorn here. Pisces, I said. Yep. Yeah, look. Eight of Swords. <clears throat> this person was sitting in a position of... Despite, it feels like d d right now, despite their insecurities or what's going on, I feel like this person is going to do their very best to come out of, they're reducing from the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords, reducing their anxieties. And I think it, I feel like for some of you, it had a lot to do with this Five of Pentacles and some kind of a, like a wake up. You can't see it. Some kind of a wake up that you had in regards to this relationship. Like you, for some reason, I feel like you felt like it wasn't authentic or something wasn't real that, you know, I keep doing that and I keep forgetting. Like they keep breadcrumbing or they were breadcrumbing you or not really giving you, um, just giving enough to keep you satiated because they knew that's what you wanted. And I feel like they wanted something with you as well. <coughs> They know that you deserve love. They felt like you were better than them. And I feel like this person really didn't feel or think that they could be what you wanted, but at the same time, they didn't want to lose you. They were struggling with deep anxieties and insecurities. Yet despite this all, the Six of Wands on the Six of Wands, this person wants victory they want they still want to try to win your heart look the hangman again the temperance now they're having the wake-up call now they're having this new perspective here in regard to your connection now they're the ones who are looking and saying oh my goodness you saw it first and you left you saw that this wasn't working out you felt like you were, this person was giving to you in vain or they were just contributing to you or contributing to the relationship because you wanted it, but not because they wanted it. <clears throat> so where they were giving, like putting in just enough, it feels like in the past, but it wasn't satisfying enough for you. You, you picked up on it. Now this person wants healing. Aquarius, Pisces energy. Now they want this renewal. Presently, are they going to reach out? at this time in this reading no okay presently no but i feel like they're in this position now where they're kind of realizing oh maybe they should have treated you better they should they should have been more honest they should have told you that they had a lot of anxiety or that they didn't feel like they were capable of meeting your needs or giving you what you want and letting you go but they knew that letting you go would mean that you would find somebody else or you would be open to somebody else and you didn't want that. So they just kind of kept you, they were at a crossroad, they couldn't decide. And so they just kept making offers to you and offers in ways that seemed like they were legit, but it was done out of a sense of, of duty, not because they really wanted to be there. This, this person was just at war between love and fear love and fear 
great anxiety and I feel like you were trying to push this person forward and trying to make things happen with them and they were like okay but then they weren't really saying okay they weren't really showing you like yes that they wanted this okay so the future so and then it shifts okay this person again here in the present at this battle between love and fear yes they want the love yes they don't want to lose you yes they want it to heal yes they were insecure yes they they want to do something right and try to have a connection with you again and do it again but at the same time going forward that deception is still there that devil energy what happens to this devil energy okay the moon again it's clarifying there and they're showing up this person will show up they will be in your future either again look nine of swords again so my goodness still in that love uh, still in that fear and anxiety still wanting to hold on to you and not let you go knowing that they're losing you man this is deep this person it's like whatever happened in the past how they were then they want you again and they and then it's like they're sure of it and they want to try again try to make things right despite their struggles reducing some of that anxiety and partially wanting to be with you again because being without you causes extreme stress and anxiety and then in the future they resort back to their addictions or deceiving themselves or denying that they have some anxieties or things like that it's like they resort right back to it now we have the king of swords so could have been um air sign as well they, they or they just get back into just being completely intellectual and not sharing i, I don't really honestly <laughs> you know i'm looking at these cards oh wait a minute this person has very deep feelings very deep emotions but there's no cup cards here and that as a reader is very significant the only cup card is this queen of cups which means that this person has very deep emotions but they don't express them and it'll turn back into a stalemate situation oh <laughs> sorry turn back into i can't believe i'm doing this reading in the dark it's actually kind of cool but then it turns back into this stalemate situation again where they don't let you go but they don't make any changes so virgo i almost feel like to tell you that you know I don't see this person really communicating with you. I see more so that they are going through these motions. They're going through the motions of what the relationship was in the past and then the current. They can't live without you. They miss you. They want to try to heal it. They think to themselves, they get new perspective, and then they resort back to this negative, this energy from the past, right? And then the Four of Wands is here okay so this person is completely conflicted within themselves they have deep feelings for you this person truly does love you but they have a lot of conflict and they know you deserve love they have a trust they have trust issue they, they don't, it's not you they don't trust it's themselves they don't trust themselves that's really what the problem is okay honeymoon time I definitely feel like they, they want this. And so the honeymoon moon time represents having time together between the two of you where it's all fun and it feels good and it's like maybe physical and it's just like playfulness and just, but it's not like, you know, it's honeymoon. It's like vacation, you know? They may try to connect with you during some type of holiday or a vacation of some sort but Virgo you need to know that this person is coming across to me as someone who's just going to slip back into their old ways again and you know if you accept this person back into your life when they have not when they're very unstable they're on and then they're off and then they're on and then they're off then you're gonna just it's just gonna keep happening 
I feel like for those of you who left this connection, you were done with it because you were breadcrumbed and left out in the cold. If that's the case, because you were treated bad, then you just keep it moving. Just keep those legs, just keep going and find someone who can love you. If you're, you know, really wanting to stay with this person, you really love them, and you have this, this big, glorious Jesus heart about you, and you want to help this person, you know, of course you can, you know, um, if you, what I mean is if you don't want to give up on them, you don't have to because you know that they have these struggles. It doesn't mean you can, you fix it for them, but you, you could direct this person ways to get the help that they need. Maybe just, you might, some of you might just decide, well, we'll just be friends. You know, I don't, I don't really know. And I'm not telling you what to do and I'm not predicting what you should do. I feel like that's really your call. But let's take a look and see what this person's um, love messages are here for you. And I'm just going to cut the deck instead. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided right now, Virgo, which is good. Okay. This is the one-handed tarot. I want to tell you how I feel. Okay. This person 100% does want to tell you how they're feeling. Mostly that they're struggling. They're having a hard time. They want to tell you, but wanting one thing and doing it are two different things, and you need to hear it. You need that communication in order to have something move forward or to even have openness, honesty, authentic communication to move things forward. Sometimes this person stays awake thinking about you, Virgo. I feel like you're constantly on their mind, but they know they were careless with you, 100%. So yeah, Virgo, I do feel like this, this person has got a battle going on and some of you understand this battle and you love them and you wanna help them through it. And others of you are like, you've done a lot or you've done enough. You've given as much as you could. You've shared, you've tried to be there. You, you know you deserve love. You know you deserve to be treated better. And other people have stuff going on. You know, you, you, you don't wanna be in a codependent situation because that's very unhealthy. So some of you are just like, okay, well, at least I know they're still thinking about me and they're still stuck on me and they still wanna try, but what can you do, right? They're sorry, they are. They truly are sorry. They're, I feel like this person is sorry for kind of like holding on to you but not committing to you. Sorry for keeping things um, at a stalemate. They're sorry for not being able, they're sorry for themselves. For a lot of you, this person feels sorry for themselves, but they're, they're sorry that they weren't able to show up for you the way that you needed them to. And they're sorry that they denied you when you tried to take the lead in the relationship, okay? Because I know some of you did try to take the lead. This person is very attracted to you still. Okay, well, these, you know, these messages. I mean, at some point, like, this is water under the bridge, right? You know? Um, I do feel, like I said, this person has very deep affection and love for you, Virgo. But I just feel like this is their battle. And you just have to, like, give it to God and let this hopefully... Uh, let spirit intervene, try to bring healing to this person. You know, this battle, whatever they're going through, I feel like you were on the sidelines and you just got, you got, you got hit by stray bullets with this person. I feel like they came into the relationship this way, had nothing to do with you. There was nothing you could do to change it or fix it or save it. It, you were just like a bystander really because this person came in with a lot of anxiety insecurity and things like that let's see what your advice is cut the deck let's cut the deck okay the moon again listen to your intuition virgo pay attention to signs from the divine unnecessary worry let go of your fears revelations will make everything clearer for you okay which means letting go let things just let the cards let the chips fall where they may Okay, then you have, the, oh, you have the Page of Cups. A beautiful new emotional experience is coming towards you, Virgo. A romantic relationship or a deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights. Some of you may be getting a love letter. Some of you may be moving into a new home, okay? Um, could, this be, could this be your person who's reaching out to you, sending a love letter, uh, coming to a new home? Yes, um, 
could be. This could also be somebody new. Okay, Virgo. Happy birthday. Some of you might be getting a birthday message as well. Um, you may get a message that somebody's moved into a new home as well. But this Page of Cups, that definitely this is the only cup card here besides the Queen of Cups. So the Page of Cups is some type of communication. Um, but it's just, it's pagey. So it's very, it's very, it's young energy. In other words, well, some of you could be a child <clears throat> that's reaching out to you, but it, it's very like um, sweet little message, you know, like a child will take some crayons and just draw a picture of a house or something. You might be getting, receiving that from someone. This is like a very youngish, not young person, but young type of communication. Immature, I want to say, but I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I just mean like you could be getting like a text like that's a heart or something like that, you know, but nothing like to talk about the relationship, okay? And you also have, oh, the world, brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment, spiritual enlightenment, and freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself, Virgo. You are definitely free now. You are free to explore. You are free to close this chapter if you so choose and move forward in your life onto bigger and better things and start, you know, you have blank, blank pages in front of you and start writing a new chapter in your life. Um, or some of you, you may, you may, don't get mean in the comments, <laughs> in the chat, some of you, be nice because everybody's in different stages in their love life. Some of you might communicate back with this person and try to develop a new chapter in this relationship. And um, there may be an understanding that you both come to about what this person was experiencing and how it was affecting you, like an open type of communication, I feel, is possible. That could happen for someone or happen for... Okay, I just saw it's safe for you to love. So this is basically saying the main thing here about this relationship is that there needs to be safety between two people. And there may be communication where someone may say, I didn't feel safe to love. Okay, that may be very important. Um, let's move on to the charms because I have my charms. I can't believe that the light went off and it has stayed off. There's definitely, especially with the devil card being here, there was definitely some type of spirit of some sort in here. All right, a couple of charms. Oh my goodness, we have a Bible and we have a cross. Okay, some of y'all like really need to start praying. <laughs> it's a white cross for purity. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. If I hold it up, you won't be able to see it. A white cross for purity. Let me put it here. There, can you see it? And then this is definitely for some, you know, reading your Bible, reading scripture, um, for some, for others, this is like just praying for healing, right? Some of you also incorporating a, a more spiritual journey into your life. If you're moving into a new home, new home or doing something new in your life, a more uh, retreat type of an energy, a healing time for you. Um, for others, this is, again, with this book, writing a new chapter in your life. We also have a bottle opener. <clears throat> so some of you like you could be you could be listening to this and looking at your bible or um, some of you might be writing or your your authors or writing a novel others you might be like opening up um a bottle maybe you're having a drink while you're listening to this um or you know like a bottle cap opening up a bottle or looking for a bottle opener um but i also feel like there's going to be cause for celebration uh, in the present, you've got some celebratory energy coming to you in the present. Okay, so something that you're doing something new, or whatever's going on, there's a reunion with friends or some type of like happy hour or going out with some people could even be this person communicating wanting to talk about, you know, getting together, there's something here that someone's you guys are going to be celebrating, for sure. Okay. I'm not going to pull any more charms because I really want to get out of the dark. <laughs> and I'm going to try to do your reading, your next reading when it's daylight, because I don't know what's going on with these lights. And 
uh, it's just it got really cold in here and i should mention that when those lights went off so all right i was i hope you guys enjoyed the reading i will see you in the chat and i will uh see you guys tomorrow please do hit like share and subscribe and don't forget if you need a personal reading there's a link below bye everybody